Honda has released some new photos giving us our first look at the 2023 Honda Civic Type R. Welcome to the channel, I'm Kevin, and yes, Honda has released some new photos of the 2023 Honda Civic Type R, but it is camouflaged, which not a big surprise, but we can still see a great deal of detail. Now, we got this red and black and white camo wrapping that we're gonna have to try to peer through, but the first photo we're gonna take a look at is from the back, and the very first thing that sticks out is the wing. Now the wing, this is looking like is gonna be a hatchback version, judging from the lines in the camo. The wing's a little bit different than previous generations. This one kind of gives me more of a GT3 or GT2 feel. So it gives it a little more professional look. Now the next thing that catches my eye the most is gonna be the three exhaust tips in the center of the rear diffuser. Definitely gives it its own unique style. It's very different. Uh, there's been a lot of center exhaust on you know, many different cars before, but I think this one just looks a little bit more unique. And surrounding that exhaust, you can also see, although it's half covered with the camo wrap, is a nice rear diffuser. It's got some little winglets on it, um, not only in the center, but you got some winglets on the outer edges as well. So there is a defined diffuser in the back that we can see, although again, partially wrapped with the camo. Now just behind the wheel, you can also see this nice little body line here, whether it be a fake vent or a real one, I'm not sure, but it's got a nice crease right there in that rear bumper. It looks really cool and a uh, really nice design. I think it looks really sporty without going too crazy over the top because let's be honest, sometimes they, they tend to get a little boy racer for me and I like the way this is looking so far. It's much more mature. Now the front of the car, you can also see that it's a little bit different than the base model Civic. The front grille is a little bit bigger. Obviously we're gonna need a little more air for track time, keeping the engine cool, keeping the turbo cool, keeping everything cool. Now the one part I think is mostly different that they're trying to cover up completely with the camo is gonna be the air ducting in front of the front tires. Normally this is where the fog light is and there still might be a fog light behind here somewhere, but it looks to be with these little vents in the lower left corner, it looks like it's gonna be a big opening, whether it be more engine cooling or maybe it's brake cooling. Um, it's definitely something that it appears to be like it would be functional, but it's just something they're trying to hide from us for now. Now it's hard to say because it is camera wrap, but the body lines don't look drastically different from the uh, standard or base model Civic. It does look better. You can definitely see there are changes and I think that's a good thing because it's a more mature type R than we're used to seeing. Now the one thing that is not camoed or hidden is the nice big black wheels. Really cool design. I really like these wheels a lot. Now it looks like they're wrapped in a set of Michelin Ultra Performance Summer Tires. Lots of grip for that track time. And speaking of track time, we can assume that there's gonna be a significant amount of suspension upgrades. Now the new Honda Civic's platform, even in the standard trim, is a significant upgrade from last uh, generation's model. Take that on top of adding even more tuning and other suspension components to the Type R, this is said to be, from Honda anyway, the best performing Type R ever. So the handling characteristics on this has some pretty high expectations. The one thing that we need to talk about though is the engine because this has not been touched on is from Honda anyway on what the details are. Personally, I think it's most likely gonna be an upgraded version of the two liter turbo four cylinder. The outgoing Civic Type R was producing 305 horsepower. Now I would expect that horsepower number to go up a bit, especially considering that this new Civic generation is heavier than the outgoing model. So we gotta keep that horsepower to weight ratio up. Now if this is a little over 100 pounds or 150 pounds heavier, I don't know what that's gonna be because I'm sure they're gonna to try to lighten the Type R up. I'm thinking maybe horsepower needs to be bumped up to about 320, maybe 325, somewhere in that vicinity. 
that would probably be a good number to offset the extra weight, which again, I think they're gonna try to get down as much as possible. I only assume that maybe these wheels are possibly forged and they're a lot lighter than the standard wheels would be. Maybe a lighter hood and some other lighter suspension components to try to keep that down. Obviously the lighter suspension components, including wheels and tires, is gonna help handle better on the Nurburgring, which Honda says it is ready for. Now I do realize that there has been talks and rumors about a possible all-wheel drive hybrid version. Now that's been, I don't wanna say confirmed, but Honda's been talking about that being the next generation after this one. This generation though, I feel like we're gonna stick with the basics, just a turbo four cylinder, manual transmission, front wheel drive. That's gonna keep the enthusiast happy. I feel like that's what we're looking for. I don't think that anybody really wants a hybrid Civic Type R. It's just not really, it's not the, the essence of what a Type R is. But I'm sure from here, we're gonna get a lot more pictures, a lot more details. Hopefully the next detail we get is gonna be on the engine and drivetrain setup which we do know Honda's already said we're gonna keep a manual transmission in this Type R. So outside of that, we're gonna need some more pictures, more photos, more details of the engine, and maybe by then we'll get some lap times from the Nurburgring that Honda says it is ready for. So let me know down in the comments below what you think of the Honda Civic Type R. Does it look good to you? A little more mature, is that a good thing? Is it not? Horsepower expectations, what do you think it should be at? and how much lighter does this need to be than the base model. Do me a favor, drop a like on the video on your way out, consider hitting that subscribe button and bell notification as well. I'm Kevin, I'll catch you in the next upload.